I am Dr. Vinod Bhardwaj, the State Nodal Officer of Innovation and Skill Development Programs at Commissionate of College Education, Government of Rajasthan. The ini initiatives for skill development in our domain are very new. If I say honestly, then within the last within the last two years only, within a period of last two years rather, we have started a skill-based program in our domain, and it's a good success what we have seen what we have witnessed in last year, that we got good response from the student side. And so we have now started it as a regular feature, regular program in our college education domain. The journey started with uh, some studies what we have made. I mean, in different states, we went over there. And what we found, that skill programs and this kind of initiatives are indeed need of the youth. The students who have been studying in colleges and universities they require to impart some additional knowledge, some additional ability which we, we can inculcate among them to make them employable. And so this was the initiative we have started in our college education domain. Rather, we were more looking for the Kerala model, what the state of Kerala is doing for skill enhancement in collegiate youth. But we started in a different model. And what we have done, so let's uh, let me share first what is our strength. In case of Rajasthan, if you find, so this is the number of colleges and number, uh, number of students studying in our domain. If you look upon the government colleges only, then there are 250 government colleges, and I'm talking about only general education, not technical or engineering or medical colleges, etc. I'm just talking about BA, BSc, BA, BA, BSc, BCom, general education stream. So there are 250 government colleges and 1,600 plus private colleges in our domain. But in government colleges only we talk about, which we are administering. So 3.85 lakhs regular students are studying in about 250 government colleges. So it's a big number of youth which we are catering in our domain. And almost 50% of these students are girl students. So this is again one advantage that we are catering, we are working for women empowerment in our domain as well. And more focus, focus of our government is to facilitate girl student again for to comfort them to encourage them to motivate them to join these streams again 1600 private colleges and 837 educational college and mean b8 colleges are there in our domain they are in a private sector and their st student strength in these colleges in the private colleges again is 4.5 lakh that is in a, that is in addition to 3.85 lakh the earlier strength what i have shown in government colleges the IGNU program, the first intervention we started with the help of IGNU, we opted some courses uh, there in the IGNU and, and out of 200 in that time, there were only 219 colleges in our domain or out of 219, 104 colleges registered a good response with the uh, registration of students there in our, in these school programs. And out of these 104, all 30 colleges are already I mean, IGNU regular center, so we have nothing to do with them because it is already the program of IGNU they are running with. But this is again to quote over there in the first instance with our first 74 colleges out of 219 shown their interest and students registered there in these colleges. So 74 is a big number in the first phase to come with their own willingness without making any extra effort. And so this shows that the students are very much willing to see, I mean, get this kind of additional info, I mean, knowledge, additional quality or capacity building in a, through these programs. 24 courses we started in the first phase and 16,500 students registered in the first session. In the session 2017-18 so far. Now we are planning for joint certification for training and internship in tri-party collaboration with Commissioner of College Education, that is CCE and IGNU and agency. Tri-party we are looking for, like we have done nine MOUs and one of them is like Microsoft, like Morarka Foundation. Morarka Foundation is a well-known um, agency for organic farming and the uh, uh, agriculture related activities and training programs. So what we are going to do like a Morarka Foundation will train our faculty members and our students. We are planning to train 10,000 students in the first phase out of 3.85 lakhs. And if we are going for training purpose, then what we are, means what we is under process, we had already completed a meeting with IGNU and Morarka Foundation that there will be a tri-party certificate. Morarka Foundation will train them, IGNU will authenticate them, 
and commissioner of college education is the beneficiary and is administrative authority so we'll the three authorities will sign the internship and training program of the students and that will be a, a very value addition to the students again so this we are planning four new courses like certificate in french and russian languages first aid program and diploma in event management have been again started this year only now what is important for our domain because you know the students who are coming to our college domain they are i don't say that they are poor people but most of them belong to poor families or poor i mean community background so what is happened even they are not in position to pay rupees 200 and so so that's a big challenge to us certainly we cannot do but what has been done by ignu what is what is additional facility has been given by ignu to us that is that ignu has a fee exemption process for sc and st candidates but ignu has the provision to reimburse them not to exempt them exactly what we have done, you know, what we have tied up with the IGNU, that you don't charge money from them because exemption means you are reimbursing them. So better you exempt them and you get it reimbursed from the agency directly and that IGNU has agreed. So in our case, again, SC and ST students are totally free. And so that was a remarkable progress in our domain again. And it was free for all category girls in 2000, January 2018 batch. So as a result, out of the 16,500, 9,000 plus alone were the girls from different categories. So that was again a remarkable means achievement for us that more number of girls shown, showed their interest in this program. Now, this, these courses are free again for SCST category students. Only now what I've done, most of the programs of the MSDE are running in for off-campus youth or for engineering students. But the students of the belonging to the general uh, education stream, um, studying in the regular, I mean, regu in studying in regular mode in colleges or universities, they are not entitled for this kind of training so far as per the provision of the MSDE. So what has been done, we have started this program for only regular students, those who are students of our colleges, no off-campus we are catering because that will be a replication of the program then. So we are not doing that. So these all are 16,500 what we are talking about. They are all our regular students and this year notification has been issued again. So colleges are interested, we, they, we have asked them out of the 23, 24 program, they have to opt maximum five courses. And if there is more demand, then there are seven courses. But I tell you, again, it is very pleasant to inform over here that there are colleges where more than, in more than 12 streams, students took admission because it was the interest. They did not want to say that, don't give me only this IT or this one only. I want to this course, if you can give me the facility over here. So in many colleges, more than 12 courses have been op uh, opted out of the list of 24. This is again a good interest that students are showing in our domain admission process now it is on we at commissariate level are monitoring the entire process this is one thing it is not the ignu which is monitoring the program it is the commissariate which is monitoring the program because if any order any circular if b issue then colleges care if ignu issues direct any circular to the colleges then they don't care so what is we are doing so we are just facilitating the entire process we are coordinating between ignu and the colleges because this is some kind of lacuna we feel in our domain so we are trying to coordinate it and that is a way of success that we are making a better coordination between the I mean, service providers and the beneficiary agencies, beneficiary points. There are separate, there is a separate cell which I am heading in the commissionate as a state note officer for innovations and skill programs. This is the initiative of our government. Now joint committee at IGNU and the commissionate level has been um, constituted and there is a, every quarter there is a meeting to discuss the issues and dis uh, discuss the progress as well. And so that way we are able to do and we are, we are able to do something better for our students. It is a model to IGNU also which they are expanding in other states as well. What we have been informed in the last meeting by the Honorable Vice Chancellor, that then Vice Chancellor, uh, to our state that uh, on Rajasthan basis of Rajasthan model, they have gone to five more states where the program in the same model has been started. And this is wonderful. And recently, Odisha has also means uh, commit, uh, consented to initiate this kind of model program in on basis of Rajasthan model. So this is one achievement for us also that we are doing something unique, which is been being replicated in other states. Now, another university which is uh, established by the state um, of Rajasthan, I mean, government of Rajasthan, that is the Rajasthan ILD Skill University, RISU. And that is newly established university and we are also starting some programs with RISU. Rajasthan Skill University and three crore rupees budget has been sanctioned by the state government for skill programs and this is the first time 
to, that is the sum budget is allocated by the state government to our department only for skills and innovations. And so that way, at least we can start some program. But there is a condition which has been laid down in the budget that we can start these programs only with the throw either Rajasthan Skill University or the IGNU or the Vardhman Mahavi Ropan University. These three are the gateway to initiate some programs. However, the means faculty development program and some uh, institutional head training programs and students training program we may start at our level, at college, uh, commissionate level. So this is but one facility, some funds we are in received this year. Nine MOUs have been signed the by the Commissioner of College Education recently on 21st of July with different agencies. And these all are for student-centric support in educational quality, capacity building, training and placement, faculty development and quality enhancement, and institutional development for infrastructure and other quality initiatives. These are the three motives which we are, and all with no direct financial support. This is too important to quote that when when some agencies say that there are not agency, we, are, we do not find any agency which is ready to help us. But we firmly assure you that these all agencies have signed the MOUs with no financial liability to the government or to the college or to the beneficiary, I mean the students. They all are going to make their programs free of cost to our domain, that is our achievement again. And now, besides these nine MOUs, we are, five more MOUs have been finalized and they will be signed uh, perhaps on 6th or 7th September, the new program with the state of our department is going to uh, means organize some program with the help of ELETS there in Jaipur on 6th and 7th September. So these are some agencies which are, means uh, which have signed the MOH with us and wonderfully ICIC Academy for skills, that is a sector of ICIC bank and they don't charge any money. And likewise, there are other banking sectors also, they are imparting trainings. Not only they give the train, give trainings to students, but they also help in placement. And so far as the records of the ICIC Academy for Skills, and I mean, I'm talking about Jaipur Center is concerned, I'm very happy to quote that they have the 100% placement record. So, so what is happening like our third year students, graduation final year students or a PG final year students, those who are going to pass out from the institutions, we are trying to get them enrolled in the, these academies for training and for placement. I don't say, that because these academies have their limitation, what kind of job they are giving for retail, for market oriented jobs, some service sector uh, jobs, they are imparting training and they are getting placement over there. Those who so are interested, because I say like the state of Rajasthan, where I already um, shared with you that majority of students is not belonging to the capable families or well-off families. So it is a good kind of help for them, even if they get a job of 15 rupees, 15,000 or 20,000 rupees per month. That is a great help. We don't insist them. Those who say are interested because it is on application basis, it is on invitation basis, I mean, uh, means uh, their own choice basis. So those who are interested, they are coming and they are joining it. So these are the nine MOUs which we have signed and we are already started with this one. Now, we are now proceeding, signing MOU, it is an effort to empower, now another step, what the state of Rajasthan has taken this year, and these are the, so what I was saying, that these are the initiatives with the, which the government of Rajasthan and our department has taken. First time our state has opened this, the culture that the now colleges will sign MOU with the agencies, because there may be some agency or some kind of organization, like they are sitting in Udaipur, they are sitting in Jodhpur or Jasalmer, these are the far off places from Jaipur, may not be, that those agencies are ready to serve in other districts, but they can certainly get collaborated with the colleges locally. Like craft industry, handicraft is a big industry in Rajasthan. So if some kind of handicraft training is being imparted to our students and they get started as an entrepreneur in their own domain. So that will be a great help. So what we are planning now, we have opened this and this circular has already been issued to colleges. If they have some kind of agency, some kind of organization which want to get tie up with you, but it should be on non-financial category, then certainly you give the proposal to us, we'll get it back from accounts and finance, I mean legal department, and then we are going to make MOU for colleges by colleges with the agencies to help them locally, not no intervention by the government. So this is a great thing, we are going to decentralize the planning and this kind of collaborative activities. And, and I'm, if I say, like some of the faculty members, they are working, I mean, in research with foreign universities also. And it's, uh, till this time, they were not able to any kind of as formal association with the college, with their college and that university. 
now we are going to open that domain also if they have some i mean the universities are ready to get collaboration with the state of rajasthan so we are opening those doors also to enhance research capacities and research activities in our state so this is one expect mou from a students faculty for for a students faculty college development and it should uh, it should be non financial category this i have already shared we are there are government department like isro the regional remote sensing center dehradun that is going to get a tie up with us now archaeological survey of india so uh, our one college is approaching to archaeological survey of india because they have provision for training and this kind of activities so we are now going to connect with those government agencies also which are going with if they come and join with us certainly it will be a government to government mou government to government tie up and we can help our students in a better way again so this is mou with microsoft recently what we have done and they are microsoft has signed an mou with us to train 9500 students free of cost for mou training and with along with certification this entire is free of cost and they besides that they are going to train our 500 faculty members as well this is again free of cost and this 500 is faculty members training is for five days in a week or sorry five days and so this is a great help to us and we have selected for that for students we have uh, selected 50 locations 50 government colleges and for uh, faculty development we have selected seven locations seven divisional headquarters in our state coordinators meeting has already been completed by microsoft so this mou is already started in our domain and soon the training program is going to be started in our state this is one my commissioner and secretary government of rajasthan yesterday shared with you this is these are the two apps so one of the app is for the upper upper is the upskilling proficiency in english in rajasthan so upper is the abbreviation of that it is basically one a jaipur based startup hello english if you just uh, go to play store you will find it hello english it's a widely i uh, mean so downloaded app and what is the news to i mean the, uh, few days before it is the world second largest second highest educational downloaded app so we have a tie up with them and they have created one beta version of the app for us for our department so if you just type upper you will find our app over there where the logo of the government of rajasthan is there so what we have done so that it, this app is free otherwise there is subscription of 1800 rupees or 2000 rupees so but for the students of either they are from the government or the i mean private agencies wherever either universities or i mean colleges polytechnic colleges or engineering colleges or medical colleges wherever they are they can get it freely download and they can start learning so this one app is made available by the government free of cost to all students we are and we are having the leather board I mean the leader board to monitor the entire process and so we can see the individually who is the student who is performing best in in this week who is the college which is the college which is performing best what are the number of registration every day and so on so we are doing it one and so far as the dishari is another app this and i'll i'm happy to quote that this app was launched in november 2017 but more than 1 lakh 70 65 thousand students i mean youth has registered on this app it is for competitive exams preparation and so now there is a lot of comp competitive exams are going on in our state by the government of india or i mean state agencies so youth is preparing our intention is here for this area was not to cater only the collegiate youth it is the youth wherever they are they belong to our state so we want to facilitate them and so behind with this motto we have opened this youth to all and this is the success that 165000 registration is not a joke every day between 8 30 to 9 30 pm there is a test is scheduled online test is scheduled and almost 5000 attempts are taking place every day in that one so this is a successful app the government of rajasthan and our department has launched and so this is again monitored by the commissioner of college education so these are some features we have started with this one now other initiatives in college education we started wonderfully this year only summer camps maybe in other states it might be taking place why we don't know but in our state it was the first time that we issued a circular to college that starts summer camp in seven skill for in seven skill program it was started and another one was the english language and wonderfully those who say that the students do not turn off in classes i tell you i don't want to take more time otherwise i could have shown you the photographs in the month of june which is the bitterest month in J in rajasthan but majority of students turn up in the colleges and they were attending the summer two week summer camp program 
and that was a great success of our domain again. So this way we are planning something, something new to involve our students because now I don't want to critique any idea or what, what the institutions are doing and what the government is doing. But there's one thing, one challenge is that how to bring the students to the institution. How to ensure their retention in the colleges and their stay in during day hours, during the classes hours. So efforts are made, made for that purpose also to let the students stay in the colleges. First let them stay so that they can go to the classes also and their the regular studies can also be made on in a proper manner. Entrepreneurship cell have been established in all government colleges by our department. So this is one again program language club has been established. These are the two initiatives with the chief minister advisory council of our state suggested that you have you must have language clubs so that the interlanguage dialogue may be promoted in the colleges. Otherwise there is a loveness that the teacher who or the community who is, who is with the English language as such or English literature, they feel a little bit different from the people who do not means uh, who are not with the English language as such associated with. So there is a, some kind of gap within the college itself which we have felt. So our effort is to make some dialogue, even the Hindi, Sanskrit, Urdu, Rajasthani and English language. Let them come together on a platform. They should have a dialogue, I mean some kind of sharing. Some English person is speaking, then some student also from English is speaking. Person from Urdu and Rajasthani or Sanskrit are also speaking. So there must be some kind of understanding for knowledge basis also. So language plus are very well functioning in our state. Placement cell in all government colleges, job fairs were organized in all 33 this headquarters for, sorry, this for spelling is wrong in two slides. Campus placement, these were recently organized in our state and that was successfully and this only this was the first time but more than 1200 students were recruited out of these job fairs and it was the first time initiative by our department but now it is going to be a regular feature. We are looking for students. Now what we are expecting from the I mean, agencies or the organizations, those who are here, that we are looking for student-centric initiatives for capacity building, upskilling efficiency. We are keenly interested in faculty development programs and research announcement. We also look for agencies, organizations for facility expansion in colleges like a smart lab, like mm, practical lab, like science lab, and so many other things or ways also. But so we are looking for this kind of agencies who can get tie up with us. IT-based facilities are also our priority in our college's domain. Any initiative for academic excellence facility to girl students will be welcome. So these are our needs in the domain. Our expectations are showcase is the proposed, uh, showcase of the proposed initiative is the must because we do not start any kind of financial program directly. I'm just, just one minute. So directly we do not start first, let the showcase, then we get four strata, four tier assessment of the activity. The first is the head of the institution. Second one is the beneficiary, that is the students themselves. They also give the feedback. Third, is the, third one is the third eye. We depute someone to evaluate the program and fourth one the implementing agency. Altogether, four reports are put on file and that is submitted to the government. 15 to 20 colleges are supposed to be in pilot performance based support to continue preferably under the CSR, cell for others. Preference to those which have been working with government, PSUs or other institutions. We prefer such institutions. However, we are also welcoming startups. We also welcome startups. And this is one our mail ID. If someone is interested, those who want to contact with us, this is the contact number of mine also and this is the official mail ID of our department. Thank you very much. This is the, from our side.